in our last video, we showed you how to build a log cabin birdhouse. Uh, some of you were concerned that you didn't have access to the sticks to make the log cabin birdhouse, so we came up with the idea of building a contemporary log cabin birdhouse where we will cut our own sticks, manufacture our own logs, and build the birdhouse. So, let me show you how we're going to turn this into this. Let's get to work. Let's get it done. Our first move will be to measure measure the uh, uh, the four sides and what we came up with we came up with four measurements we got a nine inch seven and a half six and four and three quarters these are all by three quarters so what we're going to do is i made templates and now we're going to take this and cut it down to size uh before i start my measurements i just want to clean this up clean this not off give me a nice Fresh cut from the start. Gives me a nice, clean, solid base. First thing we'll want to do is, is make our measurements. So we'll make our measurements at nine inches, seven and three quarters, six, four and three quarters and then we'll start cutting. Perfect. It's the six inch. The six inch. Now that I got my locks cut, I've got to make a certain amount. I've got to make eight of these and six of these. And these blocks will give us plenty of that. I've set up my table saw so I got it at three quarters so I'm able to flip it around. So let's uh, turn it on and make some sawdust. pieces let's go start the assembly stage okay now the assembly stage I'm gonna lay down my first ones make sure I got three quarters of an inch look for the best side make sure I got three quarters of an inch in the front look for the best side square them up I want them to up. Now, what I want to do is I do want to glue them, so I will add some wood glue. Looking for my three quarters of an inch on top here also. Okay, and now I'm going to where I'm away and that's what I want to do is I am going to use a, uh, I'm gonna use a nail but I just want to center it this is just to give it some strength hold it All right, the base is done. Base looks good, base looks solid. Uh, we'll check it out, we'll pick out what side we want maybe for the front. Uh, I'll go back and I'll clean off the glue, any of the glue that's uh, 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 leaked through, but it looks, looks good. Uh, let's think about the roof. Okay, I just made two cuts. I took a one by six and I cut a, a triangle at a 60 degree angle 
it's going to fit right on top. I then took the 1x6, I also beveled them at a 60 degree angle so we can set them on top and it'll match. And our plan will be to set it up and put the top on. Roof's on, we solid, we'll put the pieces on, we'll get them ready, but before that, what we want to do is drill the hole. Now, I want to look at the what I think is the best side. I like this side, the best side. So what I'm going to do is take an inch and a half hole bit and um, try to get it between logs four and five. So I'm going to Right. Oh, it looks pretty good. It's a little rough. If you want to hit it with some sandpaper, we can hit it with some sandpaper. Take the rough spots off. Some glue. Line it up. We want like two inches hanging over. This is going to give the birds some shade and cover as they're feeding their young and as they're living in it. We will then drill us. Put it in before I put it in all the way. Want to check, make sure I like that. Looks good. I can finish that. Okay. Roof's on, solid as can be. Looks good. I like it. Now we got a couple choices. What you want to do, how you want to hang it. You could put some uh, screws in here or hooks in here, and then you can hang it with a rope or a string. You could, as this one is, you could put a flat bottom on it, and then you can uh, hang it from a pole, as we did the log cabins. A very uh, simple electric pipe with some rebar goes right on there with a flange. Uh, some of the other little things you can do, you want to put a little chimney on there to make it fancy. Get yourself a two by two, cut it at a 60 degree angle fits right on there works good if you want to do some options for the roofs take some old roof and shingles put it on there just nail it down cover it put a strip on and then you got it it's winterproof ready to go you got your choice of stains paints your choice I'm gonna leave that to you uh, it all works well uh, I hope you had fun with this project easy project great weekend little thing and now we get to go hang it but thanks for watching, just another backyard project.